Hey, so uh, guess what? Great news. The garage finally passed final inspection. I'm so excited. I've already started moving some stuff in. So in today's video, I'll show you the last little bits that I had to do to pass that inspection. Um, some work with some, some steel support structure. In addition to, you saw the anchor bolts I did in a previous video. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of that, how I did that. And um, I'm super excited. So uh, that means more projects, hopefully, uh, well, we'll definitely have more projects that are using some of the equipment and tools that I just haven't been able to use, machinery, and that'll be in the, in the uh, garage, in the, the workshop here. And uh, I look forward to sharing more of those with you coming soon. So today, stick with me and I'll show you uh, more of what I've done to, to pass this inspection. And uh, boy, I'm super excited. I, I've been waiting for this for a year and a half to get into this place. So um, really great news. I'm glad to be able to share that with you today. does a really nice job. That's uh, 0.12 thickness. These guys are heavy. You can see how thick that's a pretty heavy duty steel, a lot heavier than what's normally built in these garages. Um, the reason I want it so thick is because the, the, the inspector was concerned about um, side to side motion, even though this building is kind of down the ground up against the trees, um, probably won't really be an issue, but, uh, but but he had a concern about the, you know, the fact that we've got these on the back side and on the plans it showed as those on both sides because often this is a, this type of garage has the doors on the ends, not on the sides, but we couldn't do that here. So um, the construction company said the double header um, uh, gave them all the strength they needed, but um, because the inspector was concerned, I just want to make sure um, uh, he's comfortable. Plus the, the company said that, you know, in order to, Handle that, those are just U channels. They're just half, like a half uh, piece of metal going up there. Um, but here we're gonna put double the thickness and we're gonna use a full, um, uh, a full square tube, not just half, we're gonna use a full one. So that's gonna more than, that'll pretty much triple our strength, almost quadruple our strength. So just putting up the two in the two places that we can put them in. Um, which is gonna be here, and then there's another one right over there. That will give us all the strength that we need, and then some. So, extra strength, extra work, but um, hey, extra safe. So, we'll, we'll do that, and that's what I'm doing today. I'm cutting these up uh, to get them the way I need them, and, um, and then we'll be hooking them in. Thought I'd just catch you up on what's going on with this. Um, just another side project in addition to the uh, getting the bolts and that was the other one I forgot to mention the other day that we still needed to do this too so I thought I'd, I'd record a little bit of that and uh, show you what's going on with that so uh, I had to grab my earplugs because cutting this big tubing it just really high pitch whining sound in this metal building it just echoed and echoed so um, I had to go grab those earplugs it was just too much uh, but that worked great cut through it really cleanly um, that saw is awesome. I've used that on everything in much thicker steel, but you saw that was real time. I, I ripped right through that um, and uh, the rest of them I'll speed up, but uh, I wanted you to see what that looked like. So anyway, let's keep going.
All right, so what I've been doing is uh, cutting in the angles on these that I needed to uh, set them up correctly. Uh, so I've got that one done, I've got this one done. I just need to, to bend that end like I did this end so it fits around the, the uh, post. But basically, let's see. It's gonna go up here like this. Except for it's gonna be on the front wall. And it's going to be uh, on these uh, new posts that I'm putting in. So that's where I am right now. All right, so uh, I've been at it a little while. I got the um, steel tubing, square steel tubing built for both sides that need to be done here in the garage. And um, I've got one installed, one side installed. So it's all screwed in now. And uh, the other side's all cut and ready, but um, just a lot of drilling and um, getting dark and raining pretty hard right now you can probably hear in the background so uh so i think i might call it quits for today and um pick it up and finish the rest of it tomorrow getting there so one of the things i wanted to share with you is um i love these doors and um i'll show you inside in a second but um the one thing I didn't love about them is they are meant to lock from the outside and you have to put a padlock on them and of course that, that's quite a nuisance, I didn't want to do that. So um, I thought I was going to be able to flip them and put them on the inside, but then I realized that that wasn't going to work because when the door rolls up, um, it goes, you know, it rolls up onto this big thing and having that big piece sticking out here would prevent it from it stop part way. So what I did instead was I came up with a way where I simply drilled a hole through each of those sliders that come through. Bought a box of these, you know, Harbor Freight for seven bucks probably, huge box. I only used a few of them, I've got a ton left over. But um, anyway, these just go right through here, flip it on that way, and then they can't be unlocked. <laughs> so it gives you a nice lock and you can easily unlock it from inside. So I did that on all all these doors and uh, worked out great. I'm really happy with how it turned out uh, in terms of a simple solution that only cost a few pennies. Didn't have to remove all these bolts and switch these, which you know I decided wouldn't work. So I thought I'd share that with you as well. Um, oh yeah, and, and I love these doors because of the fact that, I mean, if you can really get a, get a look at this 
in a traditional, with a traditional garage door, you know, it comes up and comes out. And even when you have a high ceiling like this, you can't take advantage of it because you have the stinking door coming up on a track all the way out like that. With these, they roll right up, take up no space at all. Um, you can get a motorized unit for it. I probably won't. Uh, I don't see, I don't, I'm not planning to use this as a typical garage where you drive in a park, but if you wanted to, you certainly could. Um, it's really going to be more of my workshop. Um, and uh, cars in here usually be being worked on. So um, anyway, thought I'd share that with you too. So, uh, so here's what we did uh, where I left off um, earlier in the video. I was standing here in the rain, but um, anyway, and I think I had this one post done. And so you can see that there. And then here's the other one that I actually got finished up. It's kind of bright out there. Let's see if we can see it better here. So those um, provide just tremendous strength and um, how well you can see it too, but the angle pieces that I made on the on the vise that you saw me pounding. Um, this is this is what the what the original structure had much thinner. This stuff is much thinner too. Um, these are really thick, solid, and uh, these are nice and thick too. These corner pieces, and then I did some additional bends and, and additional screws just to make sure that the strength on these were were fantastic, and uh, and they were and. So the inspector was pleased with them, which I was glad, as I am pleased with them. I know they'll give uh, plenty of strength, but no worries about this thing, uh, you know, moving a little bit during a storm or um, certainly coming off the foundation. That isn't going to happen because we've got a lot of strength here. So anyway, that's it. I wanted to catch you up. Uh, uh, like I said, at the beginning of this video, I'm so excited to be um, done with this project. This has been a, uh, this one's gone on for a long time. Um, I've started moving equipment in, and uh, I'll, you'll see more of this shop uh, once I get my wood shop set up, my automotive shop set up, and my um, mechanical welding and other stuff uh, set up on the other side, metal shop. So can't wait to get to all that and share that with you. But uh, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Um, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want uh, to be notified when new ones come out. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and uh, that's it. So have a, a wonderful day and a wonderful week until you see me next time and um, fix things, uh, create things, enjoy God's nature outdoors. And today, boy, look at that. Oh, man, it is just gorgeous, gorgeous day today. So um, that's it. Take care. Be well. We'll see you again soon.